Now that we have the objects of multivariable calculus, we would like to measure the distance between them. But what is the distance between two vectors? In high school, you derived the distance formulas for 2D and 3D by repeated application of the Pythagorean theorem. In 2D, we draw an auxiliary coordinate. Calculate distances and apply Pythagorean theorem. Likewise, in 3D, we draw an auxiliary coordinate. Calculate the height. Apply Pythagorean theorem to find the base. And then Pythagorean theorem again to find the hypotenuse. From the 2D and 3D case, you could hypothesize that distance can be calculated by plotting the two vectors spatially and repeatedly applying the Pythagorean theorem. But this is incorrect. A vector is an algebraic construct, while the Pythagorean theorem is a geometric statement about lines in the plane. We can't even visualize higher dimensional vectors. Instead, we must define the distance formula for vectors. But where do we begin? We can't just spat out any formula. Our formula needs to have meaning. It must capture the real world intuition of distance. Generally, math mantra, study a physical phenomena and decide on its key properties. Then incorporate these properties in an abstract definition. We decide that distance should be a function that inputs two vectors and outputs a real number. Moreover, we decide on a distance function's properties. We call a function d from Rn cross Rn to R a distance function on Rn if the following properties hold. Distance is always non-negative for all x and y in Rn, dxy is greater than or equal to zero. The distance from x to y should be the same as the distance from y to x. dxy equals dyx for all x, y in Rn. If the distance between two objects is zero, then they should be the same object for all x, y in Rn, if dxy equals zero, then x equals y. The direct path between two vectors should be shorter than or the same length as any detour. dxz is less than or equal to dxy plus dyz for all xyz in Rn. This is an ideal definition for a distance function. However, we need to be careful. Math mantra. A definition does not guarantee existence. Huh? Ah! How do we know that there is actually a function d that satisfies all four properties? For example, I can make the definition let n be a number that is both even and odd. But no such n exists. Likewise, I can say let x be a good M. Night Shyamalan movie. And as we all know, there's no such x. To find a suitable candidate for a distance function d, we look to the 2d and 3d distance formulas for inspiration. Naturally, since we are working with n-dimensional vectors, we guess that dxy equals square root of x1 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus y2 squared up to xn minus yn squared is a distance function. But in order to verify this, you'll need a basic proof technique. 